very easy to assemble. Um, just follow the wiring diagram. I've got a GY271 magnetometer compass board here. Uh, XIAOESP32C3, uh, a battery, and three uh, tactile switches, six by six by five. These are wired to the GPIO pins. The uh, compass board is uh, an I2C, so it's wired to the I2C connectors plus three and a half volts and ground. And uh, we've got a, an aerial here for the Bluetooth. The way it is assembled, take the case, this fits in like that. Then the switches fit into their holders. Honestly, they do. Trying to keep it within camera, and then the battery just fits in here. Um, as you see, there's plenty of room for the battery, um, but I wanted the battery to be about 15 millimeters wide, and this is the only one I can get that would fit into that gap. Uh, obviously, I can uh, have a taller battery or a longer battery and fit in a lot, uh, just as easy. Um, Keep the GPIO wires, the GPIO uh, 2, 3 and 4. Keep them at uh, this side of the chip because there is a part on the top board that holds the uh, ESP32C3 down and it fits over the top of the chip. Next stage is fitting in the buttons. could stick this down, but I'm not going to at the moment. But just keep it out of the way. There's a little lip that fits over this catch, which is why I wanted that just to be about 15mm wide battery. So it fits in like that. Line up the USB and the other side should line up. This is the trickiest bit. See how push the battery in. With the USB lined up. There's little tags that go on either side of the switches. Making sure everything's correctly in place. And there we are. That's it assembled.